Hi guys and welcome back to Everyday May here on We Film Things. I have my very first guests ever in Manchester and I'm super excited about it. It's one of my childhood best friends, Katerina, and her boyfriend and they've come all the way from California to come visit me. But they're only here for a couple of days so we're gonna do a whistle stop tour of Manchester and show them all the best spots, eat all the best food and just have a fab time. So I have my first visitors over at the flat and they have to earn their stay so... <laughs> put them to good use and we're putting together furniture these habitat shelves but they are massive and heavy and I couldn't have moved them myself I tried really hard um, I'll insert the clip here <laughs> Um, it was sad. It looks sad. Anyway, so now we're just shifting furniture around and trying to figure out where it looks best. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just run through it? <laughs> <laughs> they said I am putting everyone to me. <laughs> I'm actually not being helpful at all. Once my guests had earned their keep, I took them out about town. I may have got the direction slightly wrong, so now we're going across this instead of the bridge which is supposed to be up there but we can't get to it. Oh well. All good. <laughs> Survive. Our first stop, coffee. Tack is a lovely Icelandic cafe on the edge of the northern quarter. So good that we took some home. We're getting some coffee because we're all out in the house. And they'll even grind it for you. Today we're on a tour of the Northern Quarter and what better place to start than Affleck. This is where you go for an alternative shopping experience. We got in some souvenir shopping before heading to my favorite secondhand shop, Cow. This place not only sells some pre-loved gems, but also stocks upcycled clothing, keeping your wardrobe cool, but also ethical. We popped into Magma for some gems in local magazines. So, uh, really getting the best of Manchester here, aren't you? <laughs> yes. We slipped into Sugo Pasta to hide from the torrential downpour and to feast on some truly spectacular pasta. It looks amazing. How are you feeling about your pasta? I'm very excited, especially because there's anchovy butter in it and I've never tried anchovy butter before, so I'm very intrigued. <laughs> I found the perfect cutlery at this restaurant. It's some sort of designer from like the north of Italy, but can we just talk about how perfect this spoon is? <laughs> Honestly, I took a picture, I text Jack, and he was like, <laughs> I think he's gonna kill me. He's like, do you not like the cutlery that I bought after I made him return it? We spent the rest of the afternoon wandering the rows of craft supplies at Fred Aldous, because we're an artsy bunch and love this stuff, before heading for an afternoon beer and chill at Seven Brothers, which is a pub in Ancoats. We ended our day with dinner at Viet Shack, a delicious Vietnamese street food joint. So we've come back from a delicious dinner and uh, right now we are... <laughs> Can we just talk about this situation right now? I mean, yeah, this is what happens when you come to my house. I mean, Jesse's like hairstyle is excellent. Yeah. And but Katerina's just like laughing her mask off as well. <laughs> like the size of my face to the proportion of these openings just does not. We're pottering around town for a second day in Manchester. I've still got my visitors over. Just had breakfast at home and then now we're going to head around town a little bit. I thought we'd do something a little more cultural today, so after a little walking tour of the city, we went to the John Rylands Library. <laughs> How's the historical bathroom? It was, first off, it's your toilet paper in most of them. Second off, when it starts flushing, it's like a literal waterfall. 
And then like this kind of reminds me of like the first Harry Potter movie where she's like crying. The, the troll. The troll. It's like some troll is gonna come like out of nowhere. Like it does look like that, doesn't it? I was like, like thinking, like look at this. It's cool though. The library was opened in the year 1900 and showcases some stunning neo-gothic architecture. It's free to enter and definitely a must-see here in Manchester. We made use of the gloriously sunny day by popping over to Castlefields, a little marina with plenty of grass and outdoor pubs, before heading to Rudy's for what I am told is Manchester's finest pizza. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Obviously, there's a lot more to come from Manchester seeing as we've just moved here, so we're just exploring the city. So if there's anything specific that you would like to see, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And in the meantime, give this video a little like if you enjoyed it, give us a subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, we make all the travel content. At the moment, we're doing Everyday May or trying very hard to. So hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.